Hello, I'm Casey Dubois. I'm part of the support team here at Vibration Research. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through connecting to the Observer 1000 in two different ways. We're gonna connect with ObserView software on the computer, and we're also gonna connect with a mobile device. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by turning the unit on. We hold the power button on for three seconds. We let it go. If you'll see here, the lights uh, indicate the battery charge, and it's, uh, lighting up here so it's starting up all right so we're going to walk through connecting the observer 1000 to observeview software on the computer so first of all you need to download the uh, software that uh, you would have received in the package and then we'll need to connect to the wireless network so i'm going to go here to the wireless network i'm going to find the serial number of my device and i want to connect to this so it will ask us for a password. The password is OBSERVR1000. So just like right there, Observer1000. So we're going to click Next. We don't need to share that with others on the network. And now that we're connected, we can open Observeview software. So we still need to now connect the software to the device. So it will come up here with the, uh, you can go to discover devices if you haven't been connected already. Otherwise I've connected to this one before, so it remembers that. So I'm gonna click here and connect to the device. And here we have an acceleration versus time waveform. Uh, you can go here to change your inputs. So to turn all of the inputs on or off, you can enable all channels. You can disable all channels here. So now when we enable all channels, um, you will see an error popping up here. So uh, because some channels, there's not things, there's nothing connected to some of these other channels. So we can quickly connect, uh, click disable inputs with errors and it will do that for you. So we can also have the ability over here to turn power on and off disable inputs with errors which are the ones that don't have anything on it so with the basic package you'll be able to record um, you can go to your files here to see the files that you've recorded they will save these files right on the SD card that's on the device for you um, so you can view the files um, here's your recorder configuration if you needed to change anything uh, but here's your graph again and then there's one other thing here. Um, we have the, um, the license on this one is a basic license. So we can update the license. Uh, you just click update license and then we'll give you a key or provide you with a key once you uh, purchase that option. And then you can put that here and then you get all the advanced functions. It's like PSD. So now we are going to use an Android device to connect to our Observer 1000. So we do not have the app installed yet, so we're going to use our NFC chip to open up the link to the store where the app is. We're going to install this app. Alright, so now that we have it installed, we're going to open the app. And then we have to do one more time with our NFC chip to connect to the device. And so there it's found our device and we're gonna allow this connection. And so there we are connected to our device and we're gonna test our accelerometer. We've got some response there. All right, so now we're going to use an iPhone to connect to the VR1000. You can download the VR mobile app from the Apple Store and just search for Vibration Research. So we open the app. Uh, we want to connect to our device and we get a little bit of information there. We want to scan to connect and we scan our device. There we are. We want to join that network. All right, so once you're connected to the Observer 1000, then you can open that and it will bring you in and show you the graph. Um, we can go in and 
set inputs. All right, so there's a few different ways to take a recording on your Observer 1000. Um, the first way is on the device itself. So once you've got your inputs configured, uh, you can simply press the record button. And once you do, the record light will start to flash. And if you look at our app, you can also see that uh, uh, it's recording there also. All right, and then to stop, all you have to do is hit the stop button and it stopped our recording. So, uh, you can also start and stop your recordings through Observeview if your Observer 1000 is connected to it. All right, and another way to start and stop your recordings is through your app with this record button here. You can start the recording and you can see that the uh, record button is flashing on the Observer 1000. And when we're done, we just press that same button to stop. All right, so there are three ways to get your recordings off your Observer 1000. The first way is to connect wirelessly. You can also connect with the ethernet. And the third way is to take the SD card out and insert it into your computer. Now, removing the SD card, you wanna press the eject button first, and then you can take the card out. All right, so now that we've made a recording with our Observer, we want to use Observeview to connect to it. So now you should have received a Observeview CD in with your um, Observer. And so we download the software, and then the first step will be to connect to the device. So I'm gonna connect wireless, wirelessly here to start. And we have to put the password in, which is Observer1000. OBS ERVR 1000. And so now we're going to connect to the device. We don't need to share it with everybody else. Um, so once we've connected to the device, then we're going to open Observeview software and be able to view our files and do whatever we want. All right, so now we're connected. So I'm going to open Observeview here. And so there's three different ways to get your data off from your Observer 1000. We can do it wirelessly, which we're doing right here. Um, if you want a little bit faster, you can use the Ethernet to connect to your device. And uh, there's another way you can take your SD card out of the uh, Observer 1000 and just install it in your computer and read it that way. So let's discover devices here, and this should find our device. There we are. And so we found it, and we want to connect. All right, so now that we've got Observeview open and connected to our Observer 1000, we're going to download our recordings. So we click Download Recordings, and it brings up our latest files here. We're going to click this file, and it's going to download. So. Uh, because we're wireless, this is a, a large file, 15 megs. Um, so sometimes connecting through the network is going to be a little bit faster. And so once we've got our file downloaded, now we can open it. And so now here's our file. So now we can... Um, Take our player here, we can look at certain portions of it if we only want to see certain portions. All right, so our final way to open up our recordings is to load the SD card into our computer. And we're gonna go open here, and then we're just gonna open our recordings. It will bring us to our computer, where we can then pick our SD card, where we can get at our different tests our different recordings. So here's our, our recording. We're going to open it up right here. And it's just that simple.